So thanks for tuning in, guys. This is episode two, force drying or air drying, which is better? Well, I kind of do both. I, I obviously use and prefer the force dryer, and it helps train the coat, especially if you're grooming for the show ring. Uh, it's, it's important to get all those wispies and curly cues and all the wild, crazy, wavy hair uh, uh, laying flat. I like using a butterfire. Uh, this is what I use here. Uh, Mr. Chi, and that uh, smells amazing, by the way. Um, I rub that all down into the coat, and then uh, I let air dry while I'm actually doing her nails. So I like doing the nails right after the bath. Uh, there uh, keeps the dust down, especially if you are I use the Dremel or grind them. Um, I find that um, the nails are just slightly softer, and it doesn't make all that a dust fly around so i like doing it uh in between uh the drying process so and it also gives my my conditioner um that i put in the coat my butterfly texturizer um it allows it to kind of absorb into the hair follicles a little bit better while i get the nails done but here you can see me doing the dremeling uh when you're getting really close to those quicks guys tap 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 uh, remember this thing is a rotating disc so it is causing friction uh, so you don't want to burn burn them, and you can burn them. So when you know you're getting close, just tap, 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 and remember to give them a cookie for a job well done. Okay, I give y'all permission to laugh at my busted up dryer. This thing is like 12 years old, guys, but it has not failed me. It is the Metro Dryer, and it's called the Quick Draw. It's fantastic for little dogs, but it's uh, I love it for on the go. All right, let's get a little Echo Dry here. Um, I like starting at the rear, and um, reason being is any piece of equipment, especially when it has a lot of sound to it, I find that the rear over the years of me grooming is less intimidating. It allows the dog's nerves to settle down and accept uh, the process without feeling uh, overwhelmed by coming in from the head first. All right, you'll see me here um, drying against the grain. I prefer this. It really does help get rid of the... Uh, dips in the coat or any curly cues or things like that but I like doing it this way and it combs out nice and flat and it allows me to prep uh, the coat nicely for all the clipper work that's up next in episode three.